Hey everyone, it's Gage with Oxford Wealth coming at you with another OWA Live. So we have listed on our website a very helpful article about Social Security. We're going to put a link down in the description so that you can read through that. But there are five tips. We're only going to talk about two of them today. So as you probably know, I'm going to talk a little bit about taxes. How is the tax with Social Security? Thankfully, Social Security is not 100% taxable. For most individuals, it's 85% taxable. However, did you know there are ways that you can get your Social Security 0% taxable? It depends on what's called your provisional income scale. Now your provisional income scale is, is calculated based off of the following. So you've got your adjusted gross income, not including Social Security. You have half of your Social Security benefit and you have what's called non-taxable interest. Non-taxable interest is generally, generally uh, generated by municipal bonds. So if you have municipal bonds, you shouldn't be collecting Social Security. If you have Social Security coming in, you shouldn't be holding municipal bonds, kind of as a general rule. All of this totals up to a certain amount. So if this is greater than 44,000, Social Security is taxed at 85%. However, if it's less than 32,000, you don't have to pay tax on your Social Security. Well, Gage, how in the world can I live off of $32,000? Guess what doesn't show up in the provisional income scale? Roth withdrawals. So if you have money that's sitting in a Roth, you can take that money out more than 32,000. You can pull out $100,000 a year if you wanted to, but none of your Social Security would be considered taxable income. Don't overlook Roth conversions when it comes to Social Security. It's incredibly important that you have that discussion. The second point that I wanted to bring up is 0.5 on that article. So point five on that article will say a little bit about um, divorce benefits and widow benefits. Here's the important thing to remember. You can file for spousal benefits if you are divorced as long as the marriage lasted for 10 years or longer. That's point number one. Point number two is you have to be divorced from that individual for two years. And three, you have to be unmarried at the time of the claim, M-A-R-R-I-E-D. So you could be eligible for divorce spouse benefits. And also, this counts as um, widow cases as well. Divorced widows or widowers are eligible to start collecting off of their deceased ex-spouse's benefit. Don't overlook that. We found all too often when we do these Social Security reports, People aren't paying attention to this and they definitely need to. So feel free to click on the link below, uh, read up about the other three points that we'd like to address. And also feel free to contact us if you have any concerns about your social security benefit. One of the very, very most important pieces of your retirement plan. Give us a call at 505-891-9800 or 512-827-3400. We're happy to run some reports for you and give you some more information. Till next time, thanks.